Hello everyone, hope you're doing good, feeling well. Uh, I wanted to show you something. Uh, I've been making some hazel baskets again. And I found a really nice little spot with some good stuff. Or what I think is good stuff, but you never can really tell until you actually cut it. However, I just wanted to show you a few things that can help you. One is, I don't know if this camera, phone camera really picks it up, but one of which is that this one is kind of silvery, it's a bit smooth, and also it has a real spring to it, which I think is the main thing to look for. And then, on the other hand, we have this one, which is more brown and rough. It doesn't have so much spring or weight to it, in fact. And then the other factor, once you have cut it, is if you look at the growth rings, you can really kind of see how fast grown this is compared to the one I just showed you, which I think as you can see, slightly slower growth. And I think even if I get another one, that maybe even more. Yeah, I think you can see that that one is also a little bit slower grown. Anyway, so bounce, weight, then once you've cut slow grown, it's really good what you're looking for. Now, you can start at the butt end, um, or at the other end, depending on how thick it is. Usually if it's, you know, it's not this thick, not that thick, so I feel like I'm pretty confident I can bend it around my knee. Now, I have actually forgotten my knee pad. Or oh, have I? No, I think it's actually... Yes, I have forgotten my knee pad. Okay, so find a place that you can bend it. I tend to just make a little cut, you won't be able to see that on there. However, you will be able to see once I've bent it around my knee. And what I like to do at this beginning stage is I like to hold it with my forearm, give it a little bend, get my fingernail under there, and just lift up that first flap. Okay, so this is the fast growing one. And what we're trying to do is take off a single growth ring. And so I'm bending it just a little bit at the moment, not too much. Um, so far, so good. Um, which, in my experience with faster grown hazel, this butt end will be fine for the first couple of feet and then what happens is you'll just overbend it ever so slightly and it'll start diving and you'll get a huge thick piece off because that is the growth ring it's already very thick so okay. it's going pretty well so far I'm very surprised I knew this would happen as soon as you go on film and film something. It doesn't quite work out how you expect it. Oh well, it's good for me. Okay, so I'm getting fairly far. Um, and then when it comes to these little knots and things, what you can do is just keep it under a little bit of a bend and just pull it up past that. Because the tendency is to want to just bend it more to get it around knots. However, in my experience, that one creates a weakness at that point because you've overbent one area, and second, you're more likely to crack and break the stick. Wow, this one's working pretty well. Great. I'll film all the ones I think are going to break. Oh, there we go. So, yeah, like I said, towards the end, it's a fairly okay weaver. Um, it's quite thick. Don't think this camera really picks it up. However, what I can show you is I can then split it in half because it's quite thick, and that will actually tell me how strong this weaver is. Because even though I got a weaver from it, it may not actually be that strong. Yeah, so already it's kind of breaking, so what I would uh, do um, when it comes to dressing it, 
is actually I would just scrape it down and leave it a little bit thicker just to give it that extra strength. All I'm doing here is just trimming off those fluffy bits and the very thin uh, outer edges. Just because I like a much tidier weaver, some people just put it in like this, which is totally fine. Um, I just think it looks a bit nicer when you trim that off. Anyway, we can do that later. So that's, that's this pole. Uh, and now let's try the nice silvery one. Which I think is going to be a little bit tougher. I think it's always best to underbend and just try because one I'm looking for is often a little ripple that will appear just ahead when I've bent. Uh, two is a sort of because I hold it in my hand like this I will feel a slight pull and I will just feel that subtlety. Sometimes it will just ping up like that but you often really don't need to bend it very much in my experience, I've overbent a lot of poles. Okay, this one's coming up pretty well. Yeah, not much effort required. Now, another thing that you can do is, if it really starts to get very big and chunky in here, and actually it's diving into the next growth ring, perhaps because it is a bit fast grown or or maybe you've overbent it a little bit. Um, is you can, you can just lift it a little bit and just lift the weaver to pull it up, kind of like you would uh, rive a log in half, and you would pull more on one way or the other just to redirect that split. This one's also quite thick, but yeah. So it hit a tiny little knot, which shouldn't ordinarily wouldn't do much. So the other technique I can use is my knife to slip up there, and all I'm doing is twisting. I'm not trying to go forward. Okay, can we get it back on track? No. Yeah, I don't know if the camera will pick that up. Kind of see how it dived, and then there's a real thin spot there now. There's another very short weaver. This is what happens when you're trying to get nice long weavers. Sometimes it doesn't always work. Okay. And then another thing I like to do is I like to make my cut next to that uh, the first one because it usually slips off a bit easier and also I can see it a little bit better. However, if you've got a really bendy pole Something that can be good is to actually then go on the opposite side. So you're bending it one way, then bending it the other way. I hope that makes sense. However, this pole is pretty straight. And here's something else that I noticed fairly often. Uh, is that you can see the different colour. Um, where there's like white, and then when it starts to get green, then you know you're going into the weaker fibers. Could be that it's too, still too fast grown, and those growth rings. Let's see.
Yeah, and they're still quite fast. Just kind of somewhere in between this one. Um, but, you know, it's worth a try. It had all the right things. Um, cool. Well, I hope that helps.